Hi guys, it's Ben here and welcome to my preview of Liverpool vs Tottenham Hotspur, a Premier League fixture that's happening tomorrow. A huge game for the Reds and a huge game in the context of the top six. We're all starting to jostle for position. We've seen Arsenal win comfortably against Everton already uh, tonight. We've seen Man United get a routine 2-0 win over Huddersfield. So it's pretty much as you were. Liverpool obviously taking on Spurs. Chelsea is still to play too. But this is a really, really big one. There's a small gap between us and Spurs. Two points. Um, if we can increase up to five or at least keep them at bay, it's going to stand us in great stead as we let's qualify for the Champions League. If we lose to Spurs at Anfield, which we don't do very often, then obviously they are the ones that have the sort of their own future in their own hands and we're the ones that start chasing the pack, which is not a position we want to find ourselves in, especially now that we've lost a couple of key, couple of key players and we have the Champions League to worry about as well, which is not... Um, the, the pressure that we need. I think if we can just get out of here with a win, it'd be so, so, so huge. Um, it was great to get the win at Huddersfield in midweek. I was there. It was, it, it wasn't a spectacular display, but it was exactly what the doctor ordered. Exactly what was needed. Um, relatively early goal, and then a two-nil leap right on the stroke of half time, and then a third to kill it off. Perfect. Exactly what we needed uh, after two dreadful performances. So it's kind of unpredictable what kind of Liverpool we're going to see against Spurs. Obviously, historically, or at least under Klopp, at home against the bigger sides, we have tended to turn up. Obviously, against City, we did early this season. Against Arsenal, we did. Uh, we didn't turn up in the Merseyside derby, but you know, in terms of top six clashes. At Anfield, we've done pretty well. Obviously, we drew against Chelsea and Man United this season, but we played pretty, pretty well. And um, I guess United made it really difficult for us to do anything. Um, Chelsea, likewise, I don't think Spurs will be quite as compact. I know uh, they'll obviously be very streetwise, and they're not going to go all gun ho. They're not going to be uh, stupid like like Arsenal were, and it's not going to be it's not going to be end to end to end to end to end. Maybe like the Man City game was, but. Um, it's, it's always a pretty enjoyable fixture. I remember a couple of seasons ago when Spurs were going for the title, uh, they came to Anfield and drew one all. That was one of the best games I've ever seen at Anfield in terms of quality and just um, tension and just uh, there's so much at stake for Spurs that day, unfortunately. Not so much for us, but we still put in a great performance. Uh, and obviously last season we beat them quite comfortably 2-0 at home with Mane getting the goals. So. Um, you know, momentum, I guess, is, is with us in terms of playing them at Anfield, but uh, of course they, did, they dished out a heavy defeat, a 4-1 victory for them at Wembley, uh, when defensively we just completely collapsed. Um, Lovren had the worst day uh, you've, you'll ever see him have. Um, I think Henry Chan had a stinker from, from memory, if memory serves me correctly. Um, I just, it was just one of those hideous, hideous days, uh, one of which hasn't been the only one of those this season. There have been a couple, but. Uh, you know, we got the win against Huddersfield, so we're kind of back uh, to normality, I, I guess, in that we're not coming off back-to-back -back defeats. Um, and Van Dijk is, it should be back for this one. Uh, he was obviously um, rested or sort of missed out through through lack of fitness in midweek, but he should be back in the fold. Uh, so that makes the team selection a bit easier. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, it's going to be Carriers, of course, then Gomez. Um, I mean, Van Dijk will play a centre-back. Who partners him? I think it will be Matip. Uh, I thought Lovren played really well in midweek. Um, and I don't think there's much between him and Matip. But if anything, I think I'd maybe prefer Lovren, especially as a partner for Van Dijk. I think they just complement each other a bit better than Matip and Van Dijk. They haven't looked particularly convincing. Uh, Robertson at left-back. Midfield, I think Henderson was great in midweek. He'll keep his place. Emre Chan obviously did well too, so he'll probably start here. And I think Oxlade Chamberlain will be the one uh, to come in as, as a change, and then you, you'll see the normal front three of Mane, Salah, and Firmino. I'll be very happy with that lineup. I think it's got a good balance of um, obviously attacking threat, loads of pace, and obviously as, as much defensive solidity as we can get. Uh, on defensive solidity, Nathaniel Klein obviously been named in the Champions League squad for the second half of the campaign, so that's interesting to bear in mind. Obviously, Gomez and Trent have been battling it out so far at right back, and neither have. They both showed signs and they both started the season very well. Um, beginning to struggle, I guess, it's just un uncharted territory for them to be playing so many games, especially Joe Gomez, who started the majority of Liverpool's games this season. And Trent struggled against uh, was it, was it West Brom. So, yeah, an interesting one to see climb back in the fold. But uh, in the short term, Spurs are home. This is a massive, massive Premier League game. They are one of the, obviously, one of the 
the best sides in, in the country. That goes without saying. Obviously, Harry Kane, the best striker in the league. Son Heung Min's in tremendous form. Uh, Eriksen is such a danger. So much quality there. Deli Ali hasn't had his best campaign, but he's still a threat. Moussa Dembele in, in that one all game I mentioned. Um, at Anfield a couple of seasons ago, he absolutely bossed it. He was superb. Um, so you know the, the, the front six or, or whatever they go with uh, is, is going to be it's going to be obviously a, a massive massive problem for us. But it, the same the other way. So it's going to be a high quality game um, for the neutral. I'm sure it's going to be very exciting for us. Very nerve wracking. We cannot afford to lose it. I think if you offer me a point. Um, you know, I'd think about taking it even with Chelsea probably pulling away from us uh, if we if we drop points here. Um, I think we can afford to uh, at least keep Spurs at bay if we can pull away from them by another three points. And absolutely fantastic that open up a five point gap, which we should have opened up on them. Uh, Swansea, we should have opened up an even bigger gap over Arsenal. They're now within five of us. Uh, with us having this game in hand, but Arsenal do look pretty good with Aubameyang in. Mkhitaryan played really well tonight. Ramsey back fit again and scoring a hat trick. So. Still an interesting top four race to come, and I still think we can finish anywhere from second to sixth, and this is going to be one of the key games in determining exactly where we finish. You've got Southampton after this, then West Ham at home, so a couple of nice ones there. Um, so let's get three points here. My prediction, I'm going to sit on the fence and go for a draw. I think 1-1 is about right. I think Mo Salah and Harry Kane to score, but um, if I had to pick a winner, I'd, I'd lean, as the bookies would, I'd, I'd lean slightly towards us just because it is at Anfield. And Spurs don't have a great record away from home uh, in the big games, particularly uh, at our place. I don't think they've won here since, since sort of uh, when they won two 0 when when Modric scored that penalty. I think so that was a long, long time ago, maybe seven or eight years ago. So I'm I'm, I'm kind of nervous, of course, because it's Spurs and I know I know how great they've been this season. But I've got belief in the Reds that we're going to rise to the occasion. It's going to be under the lights at Anfield, uh, the late afternoon kickoff. Um, our rivals have won so we know where we stand, we know we need to win and we're out of the FA Cup so this is kind of all we've got besides the Champions League now, finishing as high as we can in the league uh, and it's really important that we do it. So leave a comment with your predictions and your predicted lineups. what do you think, how do you think Klopp will set up and of course follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and subscribe to this channel if you're new and I'll be back after the game with my recap and I'll see you next time.